guys, welcome back to my channel. To start off today's look, I'm going to be taking the Morphe 35B and my MAC 224 blending brush. And I'm going to take that yellow shade and start blending it up into my crease. Then I'm going to go back into that palette and take the orange shade on the same brush and also blend that into the crease. Then I'm going to take my Manny MUA palette and I'm going to take the color Mars on this small e.l.f. crease brush and place it all over the lid. Avoid placing it in the crease though. I'll like look up in the fold of my eye to make sure that it doesn't get up in the crease. You can see I was doing it right there. And then I'll avoid putting it in the outer corner because I'm going to put black there anyway. So no use putting it when you're just going to cover it up. Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette and take the shade Blackout. And then I'm going to take this Morphe M160 angled liner brush and I'll draw a straight line up against the tape. And then I'll wing it back out into the crease, making a cat eye and cutting out the crease. Then after I fill it all in with eyeshadow, I'll take my NYC black eyeliner in the same angled brush and just go back over the black eyeshadow. I like to use the eyeliner better than just the eyeshadow because it will last longer and it looks like more like a wing eyeliner than just like the dull shadow. I just personally like it better like this and then I'll lengthen, like fill out the inner corner and draw like a straight line at the top of the eyeshadow. Then I'll dip back into that blackout shade and I'll take it on a pencil brush and then I'll just fade in the black eyeliner with the burgundy shadow so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take a concealer brush and my Anastasia concealer in the shade 0.5 and then just sharpen up the wing. If you mess up you can always do this and then I'll just blend it out with a q-tip so there's not too much product left over. Then I'll go back into that palette and take the shade Blonde and use it as a brow bone highlight and to also clean up that crease shade. Then before finishing up the eyes, I'll move on to my face and do my foundation and stuff. And I'll take the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm and then I'm going to take my Kiko Milano Ultimate, wait, I think it's called Unlimited Foundation. And then I'll just blend that in with a damp beauty blender. Well, this is a real techniques sponge, but it's the same thing. Then I'll take my NYX HD concealer, and how I like to do it, I like to do one eye, blend it out, and then set it with my airspun loose face powder. I just feel like it prevents creasing better this way, and it lasts longer. Then I'm going to contour my face with the Anastasia contour color in Havana in this crown stippling brush. Then I'm going to take my Morphe 9B palette in the bottom left blush shade and then just apply that as blush on my cheeks. Then I'll take my Jeffree Star Skin Frosh in the shade Ice Cold and just highlight my face. Then I'll set my face makeup using my Max Carbon Water and then I'll move back onto the eyes. I'm going to take the Morphe 9B palette again and take the yellow and orange shade mixed together. And I'm going to take that on my MAC 224 blending brush and blend it into the under eye. 
then I'll take the shade Mars again and I'll take this on a more condensed brush and then blend it closer to the lash line this time. Then I'll take blackout again and I'll take this on an angled brush and put this right up against the lash line. I don't want to blown out too much. I want to like really placed and defined up against the lash line and then I'll take the Mars brush and just blend it out a tiny bit. Then I'll take the pink shade from that same Urban Decay palette. I don't know how to say the name, so if you have the palette, just the pink shade, and then I'll pop that in the inner corner. Then I'll go into my Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and take the shade, uh, I don't know the name off the top of my head, but the maroon shade and place that in the inner corner. And then I'll place some of the Ice Cold Skin Frost on top of that. And then I apply these Kiss 11 lashes and some mascara to finish off the look. And last but not least, I'm going to take the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Expose and apply that as my lipstick. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it and if you do, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!